guys, I'm Zen and welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon. Today we have two new figures to add to our collection. A new dog to add to our farm animals collection and a new axolotl to add to our amphibians collection. Okay, so these two are new figures. Let's get started. Alright guys, let's begin. This is my first ever axolotl right here, okay? It is a very cool figure I got off an online store and it comes with a little tag and it is actually from Safari LTD. Axolotl is actually an amphibian. It looks like a fish but it is not a fish. So I think it actually comes with some facts so let's open this and have a look. Unlike most other amphibians, axolotls keep their gills into adulthood. I have a lot of very cool and interesting facts about the axolotl for you guys, okay? Firstly, they come in all sorts of colors. Some of them are really, really colorful and beautiful. And they have a regenerating ability. If they lose one arm or one limb, they are able to regenerate and grow it back, including organs, like their brains as well. So, extremely cool. And... During courtship, they will actually dance to attract the opposite gender. So it's very, very cool. This is my first ever Axolotl figure right here, okay? Next, we take a look at this little duck that was sent to ours by a dance safarian. It is a beautiful duck from Schleich. I'm not too sure what is the exact species of this duck. If you guys know, let me know down below, okay? Okay, next up, I'm going to be showing you guys my amphibians collection is not a lot. We have a very beautiful bullfrog right here. So bullfrogs, they are well known for eating almost anything. Almost anything, I'm not kidding you. Okay, in our amphibians collection, we also include some spiders. And what do we have right here? Tarantula spider. This is actually from Safari LTD. It is manufactured in the year 2000. Beautiful figure. Okay, next up, let's take a look at some of the farm animals. We do have some ducks. So what is this? This is a white duck from Collecte. So very cool. Let's put this into the farm animal box. The farm animal box also contains some of my ducks collection. So we have a Sharpie right here, which is very well known for its wrinkled skin. Super adorable with a beautiful golden retriever right over here. Next, we have a Persian cat, if I'm not wrong. Yep, it has a very, very significant and iconic face, which is like pretty flat. And here we have a female pig, which is known as a sow. Very nice, okay? Next, butterflies, okay? In this box on the left, we also have some insects. So butterflies, this is actually a monarch butterfly from Safari LTD made in the year 2000. Really, really gorgeous figure. Centipede. Yep, this is the centipede. I've actually seen a centipede. One centipede actually crawl into my house. I had to remove it because it is dangerous. And what do we have right here? A scorpion. And this is also from Safari LTD. Next up, we have a kangaroo right here with a joey. In case that you guys do not know, joey are baby kangaroos. And we are placing the Australian animals in the box as well. Same, same box because the box is pretty big. We have a platypus. Okay. And this is actually from, I'm not too sure where we actually got this from. But it's very nice. Dark blue platypus. We have a warm bed right here. They are super adorable. I have actually seen and touched a warm bed while I was in an Australian farm. Tasmanian Devil. And it also comes with some facts right here. Tasmanian Devils are currently the largest living marsupials in the world. Carnivorous marsupials. Okay. What do we have right here? Praying Mantis. Did you guys watch Kung Fu Panda 4? Yep. Mantis wasn't really featured much in the movie, but you are able to catch a glimpse of it. And this is a Darwin frog. It has a very, very recognizable pointed snout. 
Okay, Darwin Frog. I'm trying to find its name to show you guys. Darwin's Frog with an apostrophe S. Next, we have a Black Widow, if I'm not wrong. It has a very cool pattern on the underside of his body. Black Widow Spider, 2019 figure. This is from Collecting, gorgeous figure. This is the Lord Howe's Island Stick Insect. Our one and only Lord Howe's Island Stick Insect. Dragonfly, you can see the wings are actually slightly translucent. Yep, beautiful dragonfly. Next, we take a look at some of the other farm animals. Hungarian pig, well known for its curly fur. And right here, we have a nanny goat. A chicken, not too sure what kind of chicken this is. Let's have a look at the bottom. Bantam chicken, if I'm not wrong, it is one of the smaller species of chicken that's around. And here, we have a tabby cat, super cute. And a rabbit. 2007 Safari LTD figure, Siberian Husky, right, beautiful dog, and we have a here Ford Cow, okay, beautiful one, this is relatively new, if I'm not wrong, this is a Poison Cow, it looks quite similar to the Gernsney Cow if I'm not wrong, okay, what about this one, I think this should also be a Poison Cow, so we have two of them, one from Schleich and one from Safari LTD. And what do we have right here? Is this a swan? I think so. It's from Papo, so it doesn't have its name below. And here we have another cow. Okay. And what about this one? Okay, this two looks very, very similar. Looks extremely similar. This is actually from Collecte. And let's see what is written right there. Frisian Call. So you can see Hoisten Call and Frisian Call, they do look kind of similar. Water Buffalo, very beautiful one. Squirrel, not exactly a farm animal, but I'm putting it in my farm animals box. German Shepherd, and this is a beautiful figure from Safari LT 2001. A sheep, gorgeous one from Schleich. And we have a booby right here, guys, and let's read this. They can be found in desert regions of Central Australia and grasslands of Southwest Queensland. Gorgeous stuff. Here we have another butterfly. It is not a monarch butterfly. It is a small tortoise shell butterfly because you can see its patterns on its wings. They look a little bit like the patterns of a tortoise shell. This one is kind of creepy. Yeah, when I got this, I was actually a little bit scared of it because it looks so real. It is a bat. Okay, bats are pretty harmless. They basically eat fruits. And what do we have right here? Another kangaroo with a joey inside. This one is a huge one. Is this a bumblebee or a honeybee? Let's have a look. Honeybee, you can see this part is actually kind of furry. What do we have right here? This is the red knee tarantula spider. Massacan Red Knee Tarantula Spider to be exact, 2009 figure from Collecte. And we have a Dingo, which is an Australian wild dog. There's no brand to this because we got this from like a budget pack. If I'm not wrong, this is a Wallaby, yellow footed rock wallaby to be exact. Let's read some facts. The female carry young in the forward opening pouch for four to five weeks. This endangered species inhabits rocky upcrops in semi arid areas of Australia. So there you go, beautiful one. This is actually from Animals of Australia. That is the name of the manufacturer. What do we have right here? Is this another tarantula? I think so, let's have a look. Sydney funnel web spider, not a tarantula, I beg your pardon. And this one seems to be a stack beetle. Let's have a look. Yep, from Collecte 2015 figure. Beautiful, looks really gorgeous. And this one, it looks like a Shiba Inu, but I don't think so. It's a Dingo, another Australian wild dog, gorgeous one. And this one, wow, this is a huge kangaroo, a huge one, science and nature. Yep, they didn't really paint the eye, so it looks kind of a little bit scary. And what do we have right here? This seems to be a pony. It's from Schleich. We can actually put this in our horses collection, but that's fine. This is a boxer, if I'm not wrong from Safari LTD 2018 figure. 
black sheep. We have two of them. This is also from Safari LTD 2018. We have a Dashchon. I'm not too sure how to pronounce it correctly. I think so. I think this should be the right pronunciation. 2014 Safari LTD figure with a sow right here, a female pig. And this is from PNSO. Beautiful one. It has been with me for many years. We have a Border Collie. It's a Collie, not a Border Collie. I beg your pardon. Border Collies are. I will show you guys a Border Collie. I think this is a Border Collie. They are super intelligent. They can be used to shepherd sheep. Border Collie. They are ranked the most intelligent species of dogs. And another black sheep. We have seen this one just now. This one seems to be a Billy Goat. Yep. A donkey from Schleich. This figure has been with me for many years. And what do we have right here? Another tarantula spider, if I'm not wrong. Yep, it's from Bully Land Tarantula Spider. Gorgeous stuff. What about this one? Have a look at this. I'm not too sure what is what this is. It's a spider for sure, but what is the name? What is the exact species? Could it be a tarantula as well? And here we have another kangaroo with Joey. Yep, let's see whether there's any name written right below. Nothing. Mosquito, this is the insect I hate the most. They suck our blood, they bite us, and it cause us to each. And what do we have right here? Rhinoceros beetle, if I'm not wrong. Let's see, from Collecte 2009, Rhinoceros beetle, because it has a horn that looks like a rhinoceros. Tasmanian Devil, beautiful little figure from Safari LTD. Let's see which year it was made. 2019, you can see it has very, very sharp teeth. And another kangaroo right over here with a joey right below. Gorgeous one from Schleich, if I'm not wrong. And here we have a huge ant. This is actually one from our, our very own collection. I think it was from Darius. Okay, and here is a koala. It is a masupir, super, super cute from Science and Nature. We got this a couple of years back. Still look pretty good. Bilby, if I'm not wrong, oh no, this is not a Bilby, this is a Bandicoot, a Bandicoot, it looks, uh, uh, you know, it has a very narrow snout, like the Bilby, but it's not a Bilby, that's for sure. This is a giant kangaroo, you can see it is super muscular, I'm trying to find his name, I'm not trying to show you, it's private, okay, sorry about that, I'm trying to find his name, is it behind, oh my goodness, where is it? There's no... Words? Oh, it's right here. Nah, I can't find. It's fine. And here we have a spider. And what is it? Huntsman Spider from Science and Nature. Very beautiful. It is super colorful. Okay, another amphibian. We don't have many amphibians. And here's a little frog, which is very colorful. I like the patterns on his body. It looks so cool. A small little scorpion right here, which is also very, very cool. Next, we have a cockroach. I think this is supposed to move, but it has ran out of battery. It's very, very cute, that's for sure. We have a ladybird, or do you call it ladybug? Let's see. Ladybird from Collecte. 2011, 2011 figure, quite some time already. And what do we have right here? A porcupine, or is this a hedgehog? Let's have a look. Porcupine from Collecte, if I'm not wrong. Yep, Collecte, and it's 2018. This is a little bumblebee, if I'm not wrong, from Collecte as well, 2011, quite an old figure. We have a hair, which is like a wild rabbit, brown hair, beautiful one. And this is a corroboree frog, you can see on his body, there are like very cool scales or patterns on his body, corroboree frog from Science and Nature. And we have a little Shiba Inu, this is from Schleich, super adorable. This is a Siamese cat right here. This is from Safari LTD. And here we have a nanny goat. That's right, from Safari LTD as well. And here a sheep. And a German Shepherd puppy. What is this? This is a goose, I think. Let's have a look. Let's try to find its name. It's not. Okay, it's right at the back. It's a gander. Okay, a gander. Our one and only gander figure. Hampshire pig, if I'm not wrong. Let's have a look. 2017. This is a very gentle species of pig. And here we have another sheep. From Collecte. Old figure. This is a Great Dane. Great Dane. 
2020, my dog Shizu was actually my my past dog, you know, Pui Pui, who has already passed on for many years, was actually bitten by a Great Dane. The Great Dane didn't didn't really didn't kill him, but he injured him quite seriously. But of course, you know, to Pui Pui passed on due to old age. Okay, another Shiba Inu. You know, we have two of them. And here we have a very very cute little rabbit. I like this one a lot. Such an adorable one. And we have a rooster right here. Okay, a small little golden retriever from PNSO. This is a cow from PNSO. This it's a bulldog. Let's see. Yep, a bulldog. I have one fig on the floor, so give me one second. Jack Russell Terrier, Safari LTD. And this is a Gernsney cow, which is a very popular species of cows because they produce lots of milk and they're very gentle gentle phoenix rooster koala we have a tabby cat right here this is a boston terrier if i'm not wrong yep that's right this is a chicken not too sure what kind of chicken some chicks and wow this one looks spooky this is a black widow that's right. Another Siamese cat. Dominion. Looks like a puppy. We have a calf right here. A young cow. What is this? This is a lab beetle's possum. That's right. And another chicken. This was sent to us by a dance safari. A very beautiful one. A cockerel. Cockerel to be exact. And this is a new dog. Platypus. Small little figure from Science and Nature Golden Retriever This is a gorgeous figure Much like Orange Tabby Cat From Safari LTD Yep A small little donkey Donkey Calf This is another dog which looks a little bit similar to this But I have no idea what kind of dog it actually is This is an Americana Chicken Which is well known for laying blue eggs Okay and we have a collie puppy, very cute. And this it's a what is this? This is a terrier. I'm not too sure what is the exact name. This is a schnauzer, a little scorpion, Shiba Inu. Oh my goodness, this is like the cutest thing. Two very cute Shiba Inus. It's a piglet, super adorable as well. And another chicken. It's like a wall rabbit, a goat, probably a billy goat, another rhinoceros beetle, Jack Russell Terrier, looks like a puppy. This was sent to us recently by a gen safarian, it's a goose, and of a small little bumblebee, small little pig, small little goat. A wombat, which is very cute from Safari LTD. This is like a porcupine, I think. No, it's an Ichitna, I beg your pardon. Koala, cheeks. Let me just move this figure closer to me. You have a Labrador right here. Gorgeous one, looks so majestic. A female pig right here, which is known as a sow. A Poodle. Poodle is also an extremely intelligent species of dog. This is a French Bulldog. Yep. Or nickname Frenchie. Another female pig right here, a sow. I'm not too sure how you pronounce it. S-O-W. Do you guys pronounce it as so or I should I think it should be sow. Because A-W is owl. So it's truly sow. This is a snail. Gorgeous one. Heavy cat, pot belly pig, super cute. And this is a red eye tree frog. And this are basically two of our latest figures. All right, I'm very very happy to be adding this to my collection. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye bye.